Igbo, and right now I'm joined by selector, producer, and promoter. It is Futa Hype. Futa, wagwan. Wagwan, wagwan to the world out there, you know? They are going well, it is you. <laughs> you put out a message via your Instagram page recently in which you stated that you're no longer a part of Down Sound Records due to the fact you were not getting the respect you deserve from the label's boss, Joseph Bogdanovich. When asked if you were still a part of the label recently, you said yes, you were. So what's happened over the last few days which made you change your mind? Yeah, um... As everybody know, I shan't have that song entitled um, um, Restraining Order, yeah? I found the song um, disrespectful for her to be in the same camp as me and doing a song like that. She's disrespecting me. But at that time, the song was not a down sound record production, so I overlooked the fact that she voiced it for somebody outside of the company. Now, they have a second song, which is being released, and it's it, it was released as Futa I this number two, and it's produced by Downtown Records. It was written by Sketa Borel. So I find that very disrespectful, and when I accept that, you understand what I'm mean? saying? So I quit my job, because me and her and them now are there. Girls, they not take this thing from business to personal, because she sexually involved with Sketa Borel, and she sexually involved with Joe. So... Is like me, I get disrespected under the fact of the matter that them in a relationship betray them, and me not in a relationship, and me are doing music and business. You understand? So, if I get too disrespectful, and me not gonna make them walk down my brand and disrespect my brand in order to build fear. You say Aishona is in a sexual relationship with both Scatter and Joseph? Yeah, man. Enough people don't know. And because I'm a baby mother, they never really want to confront the people because, you know, we should have a child together. And, you know, we never, it, 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 it is embarrassing and very low. And we never really want to put it out there like that. But she has over the now. And I get this is full of the song. And I go on like she has something over foot of eye. And she has nothing over me. She knows her. I scatter at the bowers where I eat her and I write the song then and I in a freak a lot and then something then. Me and a freak, me and a bowers, me and eat pum pum. So she not fear them thing there. She never try to style me. Cause she not have nothing over me. Yeah, so I'm just tired right now and she has start oh me a stalk her and me a cry baby. Me not even look for Aisha. You know start woman on a class. You can't fix my boss and sex my co-worker in the same company, under the same roof, and me stuck here. You're not going to value to me. It's just like, like you want me to see I'm going dirt. I should not tell the people them, say, at that. You better should write a song. You say, listen, me take foot of boss, and me take foot of co-workers, and then put spam me, and then grounds me out, and then freak me out, and me freak them out, and shit is not a part of this kind. Don't like them something there. That's something we more sell, you know? When did you find out she was romantically involved with Joseph and Scatter? And is this why you and her broke up? Well, big man thing, I find out about she and Scatter after the breakup. Scatter actually confessed to me and Joseph at one point. But at that point, me never know that Joseph and I was involved as well. So I was just thinking it was just Scatter at the time. But further things and further evidence to find out to Joseph as well. You understand? So is there any friction between Joseph and Scatter? No, they're happy with it because it's not like none of them are wife are up. It's not like she's none of them wife. She's just a studio fixing, you know? Like, probably if Joe and vibe and he wants something to get it and if Scatter wants something to get it. That's what it is. I don't like none of them engaged to her, uh, none of them put her in a wife position. Uh, she played a role in none of them life. She's just a cool around here. She's just a studio girl, a cool studio. So she left from her wife, was a studio mattress. So she needs to tell the people and that. 
tell the people them that and stop try like you want to paint a wrong image of footer hype. A footer hype a bad man, me a gangster, me a run certain joke. Me a freaky boy, me a come like a dread. Me a freaky boy like a dread. So I find it very disrespectful that them here try style me with music after they know say they are doing dirt. You understand what I'm saying? Were you surprised when you found out about this situation? You've obviously been a part of the down south camp for quite some time. Did you expect better from them? I expect better from Aishana. Because man has got to be man at the end of the day. You understand what I'm saying? So although me and I did break up, see? she supposed to have that self esteem and respect for herself, not even me. I respect her for herself. I'm not going to so low with her life. Because I put her high. When the people look up on her eye, even though people hardly believe because they have the high respect for her. You understand? So that surprised me. Because I can't stop her have a relationship and have a man if she wants. No problem. But all you have to have, a, have my friend with me and my pal and laugh and talk every day and we're not the same place. And then me chat a down zone and my energy make it a down zone. And then you got to deal with the boss too. So that's very low and disrespectful and shameful and embarrassing. Me would have never start Aishana. Me would have never want to see Aishana again in a relationship manner. All Aishana is to me is somebody who give birth to my son, not the else. So when she had them song there, it really aggravated me. Because you talk about me and start here, me and terrorize you, and me and I keep not look at you. When you see Mrs. Come, Mrs. Dirt, she worse than Angel. So do you think this whole stalking thing was put out as a diversion to uh, take people's attention away from what's really happening? Yes, most definitely. They might be them song, yeah? And I say, how can I pin on the song about foot up and make people look for foot up bad? Because foot up really I tell people what she do. You understand? And she go for her interview them and she now tell them why we break up. She will break up because she want oral sex and she want the threesome and we not deaf on them something there. So she now tell the people them why we break up. She just got up on the bus, she want to move on and she want to explore. Tell the people them why you want to explore, you know, because she's actually right. That's what she said to me. She wanted to explore, but I am a man of God. I fear God so bad. I would never be a tree slump with nobody. Girl and girl, man for man, it's wrong. It's homosexuality. I don't deal with it. I mean, I eat crutches. So because she find a comfort in a scatter and do them, she can't get her cut with each. She can't sex a girl, whatever. But then take it personal and then start bringing the personal thing in at the business. You understand? And then I use me now by disrespecting me to make she become a relevant artist. I'm not going to sit down and accept that. Do some song about your life and leave me out of it. You say, me a start here. So why everything come out of your mouth about me? If you say you don't need me and I'm me a start here, why are you a sing about me every day? Is there any truth behind the rumours that you and her had a shouting match at the Downsound HQ recently? Yeah, most definitely we have a shouting match because we had a meeting and I was um, discussing my my disturbing feeling towards her doing a song that disrespect me. And then she had up on stage and I called my name. And I disrespect me by using my name. So I was basically telling you, I said, here you are. She can perform and do everything. Just make sure leave me name out there. She can't even show what if she wants. But when she call me name, she affect my brand. She mix my brand in her performance. And she get up in the meeting and said, Joe, can't tell her enough to do that. And he couldn't talk. 